Hello and welcome once again to the video talks of STEER, a program by Dr. Amdekar's team. I am Dr. Tushar Maniar, pediatrician from Andheri, Mumbai. And today I'll be talking on dental problems in children and why we should not ignore them. As we have heard, let us start at the very beginning because it is a very good place to start. And so we start even before the teeth erupts. The dental or the oral care as it is called will start before the teething occurs. The advice given is after every feed, the child's mouth should be cleaned with a soft muslin cloth by rubbing the gums and making sure all the food particles are removed from the gingival area. This not only helps in keeping the gums healthy and giving them stimulation, but also it trains or sensitizes the child, makes it easier for the child to accept brushing later in the life. As soon as the first tooth erupts, it's time to start brushing. Make sure that brushing happens twice a day. Use a brush which is smallest and has soft bristles. You can use either a finger brush or you can use a handheld brush. It's best to brush the teeth by standing behind the child if the child does not allow you to do it from the front position. As the child grows, one can use uh, age appropriate size of the brush and also move on to motorized head brushes which can be of pediatric size. What toothpaste and how much toothpaste do we add? That's the common concern by the parents. So remember below three years of age, the size of paste used on a brush head is about the size of the rice grain. After three years, you put it as much as what is known as the pea sized. After six years of age, it could be half the brush head. The toothpaste used is usually baby toothpaste and it is of low fluorine content. And being baby toothpaste, it does not form much, so prevents gagging and makes it easier for the child to brush. Once, twice a day when you are brushing the teeth, after the child is slightly bigger, you can start teaching them how to floss. Up to six years of age, it is advisable for the parent to brush themselves. After six years of age, the child can brush on their own provided there is supervision from the from an adult. The first dental visit as per Indian Dental Association and American Academy of Dentistry is at one year of age. But in most cases, it's not advised or it's not very, it's not feasible. So it becomes even more important for us doctors to be monitoring the child's dental health till he or she is able to visit the dentist. Once they start visiting dentist, routine six monthly visit is what is advised. And of course, in between, if there are any problems. While we supervise dental health, apart from taking history about various dental complaints, we must inquire whether the child is bo being bottle fed beyond one year of age, if there are night feeds happening, if there are sugary snacks or beverages being given to the child or if there are on examination, if you find any dark spots or cavities or any gum bleeding or unhealthy gum, gums are seen, then we need to immediately refer them to the dental surgeon to take further care. When you send them for routine visits at around six years of age, the dentist will advise once the permanent molar comes up, they will advise sealants to be done. These sealants coat the pits and the fissures which are there on the crown of the, of the molar and protects them against cavity formation. Usually they will also recommend a second coat once the second molar erupts, which is around 12 years of age. If it is, if the child is in a low fluoride area, some dentists would advise fluoride treatment, which is again a non-invasive preventive measure from child getting caries. When we look at this, 
we have to make sure that all these points are for root of for a child who has normal development and growth of course when you are looking at a child with special needs we will have to pay more attention to their oral health children with down syndrome children who have developmental delay children who have autism and various other cerebral palsy like condition require extra care because they could have crowding of teeth they could have excessive salivation they could have acid reflux all of these are risk factors for dental health if the child has congenital heart disease or has undergone a device closure for a shunt or has had an in, uh, has a cardiac surgery or for any condition the child is at risk for infective endocarditis it's important to give the child prophylaxis against infective endocarditis in the form of amoxicillin 50 mg per kg at least one hour one to two hours prior to dental procedure now there are certain procedures in dentistry which rec which require these infective endocarditis prophylaxis especially which involves bleeding that would be a general measure to mention that we also must remember that children as we talked about children with special needs and children with congenital heart there are certain systemic conditions which predispose to dental problems the common commonest one being rickets depending upon hypophosphatemic rickets or calcipenic rickets one could have severe dental enamel hypoplasia or de deep pulp abscesses and will require close medical attention conditions like jogren's disease or dysautonomia gives rise to dryness in the mouth which also makes the child devoid of protection from saliva and they are at special need for early dental health even adenoid hypertrophy which is a very common condition will lead to mouth breathing and that subsequently causes drying of the mouth they also developed uh, adenoid faces and their occlusal mal occlusion may occur any which ways routinely children around 7 years of age should go to the to an orthodontic appointment for mal occlusion and early detection and prevention for mal occlusion should be taken care children who have habits like thumb sucking beyond 5 years should be seen by a dentist who can give them habit breaking devices or also make sure that dental mal occlusion is not progressing any further Finally, we must remember that children like thumb sucking pacifiers beyond any beyond particular age group will also have problems like recurrent otitis media and dental malocclusion amongst others. So friends, let's remember that we must teach and educate our the parents who come to us that brushing twice a day cleans the teeth rubbing the gums with fingers keeps them clean flossing and rinsing the mouth after feed will keep the interdental spaces healthy doing a mouth alcohol free mouthwash also helps in a big way thereby let us not ignore dental problems and make sure that they have good set of teeth through their life thank you very much